The filthy rebel stole from the sanctuary. He spilled blood on sacred soil. Good people of Vilos, your hearts are big, but we must use our minds in this matter. He deserves death. We demand justice. Though putting the man to death would be justice for who? Can a citizen truly be partial when justice is sought? Must we not first define what justice is? Don't listen to Athenians. They do nothing but talk, talk, talk. We want action. Ship the rebel to Mykonos, where nothing is sacred. Kill him there! Life has value, no matter where you are. So, gratis. You just make friends wherever you go, don't you? Alexios, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Thelos? Once I heard the great Socrates was on Delos, I raced over to hear his words of wisdom. Ah, but what are words? Can they be wise, or are they simply words? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not getting sucked into one of these debates again. Yet right now, there's a situation I would love your opinion on. Fine. Soldiers captured the rebel. He stole from the sanctuary to help finance the rebellion. When guards attempted to apprehend the man, he killed one of them. Murder on the loss. They're probably going to kill him. Indeed. Though it's illegal to end his life here, so he awaits his fate to be transported to Mykonos. Where do I come in? Would you say this rebel deserves death? That killing him brings justice? Let me answer that by asking you this. What exactly is justice? A brilliant question. He stole, which is wrong. But it was for the freedom of his people, which is right. He killed a man. To save his own life. He broke a sacred law, one he knew honored the gods. So you're saying he can kill and steal, but stay in the earth and he should have his throat cut. I am saying nothing, but when we stray from the law, are we not like the animals? <laughs> you know my opinion on that. Can I go now? Of course, of course. There's just one more thing. Uh, there always is. The rebel is being held north of here in the Estiatorium. They're shipping him to Mykonos tomorrow. Wait. All this just to convince me to save the man? Convince, never. Though I am curious. Now that you know where he's held and why, would you save him? I'm going to pay this rebel a visit. Sounds like we have a lot in common. I thought you might, though I have no drachmi to give. Only knowledge. Which one should prefer, for it is perpetual, not transitory. Well, that's... something, I think. The rebel is there. Gentle with those pigs. Keep your opinion to yourself. You've caused enough trouble. Now follow me. And 
anyone else who tries to claim the Delos Islands. Delians are free. More Delians will die if you don't shut up. Silence, I'll scream till my lungs bleed, and all soldiers are dead. Malaka! Those lions are impressive. I wonder what they're guarding. You have a very loud mouth. You could have gotten us both killed. Then our sacrifice would set fire to the hearts of the rebels. Then cast every non-Delian into the sea for Poseidon to chew up and spit out. You realize I'm not Delian. The Spartans who fought and died for the rebellion are also not Delian. Athenians want these islands for our wealth. The Spartans want these islands for Sparta. I won't let them have it. We don't need them. We don't want them. Delians should rule Delos alone. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going straight to Kira. The rebels must leave their caves. The time to attack is now. Go, and don't come back. Every soldier on Delos will be looking for you. Let them find me. I already sent one to his grave. I'd love to send another. Has spilled blood on sacred soil. Perhaps they did, but mistakes are a failure of <laughs> intellect, not character, are they not? These are sacred lands. Our laws are clear. Ah, are they? Is it not possible to know what is right and thus do wrong? Then the foreigner acted out of ignorance, not malice. So you say we need to tell every person on the island what the laws are? If a law is truly just, is it not knowable through deduction alone? Ah, Alexios, seeing you on Thelos sets my heart at ease. So tell me, how was your encounter with the rebellious prisoner? You never told me he was an extremist lunatic. Ah, but who am I to judge? What is too much or too crazy? Are we not both at some point or another? He would have thrown you and your philosophies into the sea. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? There may have been a few drops, but everyone survived. Hmm, interesting. A mercenary who carries blades of death everywhere he goes, and yet, in this particular case, he chose life. What can I say? I was in a good mood. And what of the rebel? Should be on his way back to Mykonos, if he knows what's good for him. Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. It's a pleasure, Socrates. I can always count on you to give me a devastating headache. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Alexios. Hope to see you around the symposiums again. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> 